I am Mitchell Pixel Sin. This is Ken. Oh, you made this game. It's called Star Wars. We're gonna play it. It's gonna be good. Johnny has got it also here, but they don't want to be on camera because they're scared. Hey, uh. <laughs> Alright. Tip if you ran enemy ships hard enough, they will take damage. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty bad English, but it gets the job. No <laughs> worries. Okay, cool. So this game is obviously a touch device based game. Yes, that's in right. In most situations. Yeah. But today we're playing it with a mouse. Okay. Oh, it looks like the adjutant from Starcraft. Alright, uh, systems offline, dynamizing warp systems. Oh, actually, you're awake. Ah! Who are you? <laughs> Captain Axel, are we you? Need you we need your creative uh, <coughs> readings of this, your dramatic readings of Walk us through it. Yeah. Alright, how about this? Axel can can you, be, you be the robot? I'll be Captain Axel. Not a problem. Okay. Captain Axel, I'm your mothership's AI. You've been out cold for hours. Uh, right, where am I? What happened? First things, Axel. Can we please extract some local resources to help rebuild our systems? Luckily, sensors are picking up some nearby asteroids. We can mine them using the remote combat vessel. Show me. <coughs> <laughs> Axel's also a heavy smoker. Um, <clears throat> the small cost of cluster of asteroids here should contain enough resources to rebuild our critical subsystems. Make it so. No, okay. Just made that up. <laughs> Simply tap and hold to move your vessel. Nice. Tap on an asteroid to mine it, it will release its raw resources soon enough. Thanks for the tips, AI. I think I would have given it a name by now, but you know. You'll see your orange RU bar filling up top and right. Tap on floating resources to collect them. And call me Ceres. Oh, good, we get it as a name. Nice, okay. All right, cool. Also, I don't know. Yeah, so, so what happens there is uh, you can tap on it, mm. and um, then you can move off to do something. Right. So it's designed so, to... Right, so would I, would I benefit from having, like, more than a mouse playing this game? Like, should I, like... <laughs> it's only gets one touchy touch. We do have multi-touch support. Um, it's kind of in development though, so it's a little bit buggy. It would seem we had a slight mishap while on a routine asteroid mining mission. I'm not sure how much I want to do this. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry about it. I mostly just we're good, skip we're through good. this text. Our, our viewers can read. Thanks. I'm sure you've seen it a hundred times. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's a great feature here where you double click and it brings up the whole thing. Whoa! Alright. Now is the spaceship always there? Or is it just in as you? No, the spaceship's always there. Um, so what happens is we've got a bunch of... Um, we've got a level template. So when we want to create a new level, we just copy that. Everything's all set up and we just configure like background graphics, the enemy waves, uh, the objectives, the story triggers, the story, etc. Uh, so it's a very modular system. Um, and it's definitely helped uh, in terms of development time. Refuel, okay. So yeah. I guess the core tenet of the game is basically to go out there, get resources, and come back and the game. Yeah, that's right. Um, so what sort of variations are you sort of throwing into the mix? Uh, so we've got a bunch of different levels planned. Um, we've got a typical guard, the mothership, while you kind of guide it for a region. Uh, stealth missions, where you kind of can't get Whoa. in view of something. Um, Basically, some boss battles as well. Um, for the combat demo, I kind of made a boss. I'm not really sure if we ended up playing that, but um, basically had a set that way to learn and it would kill you pretty quickly as well. So, yeah, um, I think one of my main goals with this is definitely I'm um, not going to be fair. Um, yeah, the player's going to die. <laughs> I think there's, there's a real trend to this. People like these punishments. Yeah, definitely. Um, when we were first talking to you, I, I sort of asked you whether or not you thought about having weaponry on your ship actually be controllable and whether that would be something interesting. What, I know we were talking about there's sort of like a movie cloud event. Have you, have you... We haven't actually. Um, what... We did have an issue with interactivity, so what we've done is we've added a bunch of subsystems in there, and uh, they're customizable. 
Uh, so what you can do is later on um, add some to the ship and now you can see how those work. Um, but essentially they're just um, abilities that operate on the side there. Um, the idea I guess behind the game is that you're going to be too busy uh, avoiding fire. Um, for example, you can actually double tap now to dash. And uh, that's one that of That was the, pretty cool. Yeah, so that's one of the uh, main, um, I guess, getting the player into the, you know, kind of getting them to control that position I like. Okay. Yeah, so here you'll um, dock with the mothership and uh, let's nice. start editing your hard points. Attention location to get started, sweet. <clears throat> So do you want people to be building their sort of loadout frequently Absolutely. and changing it mid-match to sort Not of enough, the way that it plays um, out? No, we tend to... Um, a more of a gated system until you can get the best weapons. Yes, I'll take that. Yeah, it's definitely a gated system. We've got another tab uh, which hopefully should come up in the next level as long as it's been configured correctly. <laughs> um, no worries. Yeah, uh, you'll actually be able to upgrade uh, turrets to level 2 and level 3. Um, so there is a gate in terms of that. Um, they're quite expensive as well, so uh, it's not something the player can immediately go up to. We have taken the uh, approach where no content's actually gated. If you want to work up to tier 3 turrets first and not do anything else, you can. Nice. Yeah, so um, we want to allow the players to choose what route they go down. Um, however, I will also punish them if they do that. They won't have enough help. Survive, so right. We'll kind of, and, and you'll see, you'll see soon. You'll have ten iron turrets tearing through. So yeah. So this, this first level here was set up um, just very gently, guard the player into the game. Um, it does get pretty frantic later. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, originally this started out as a game where you tap and hold on an asteroid and then you move around the asteroid while you broke it apart slowly. And then as you attack the um, didn't really feel like enough action for me, so after that I immediately added the exploding asteroids. <laughs> I think I actually did play one of the first first models of that and it was like I found a lot of the time because you had to concentrate on holding onto the asteroid at the time, that you did get basically ambushed and destroyed by a way And it was kind of I safely get resources. Ah. Back to the ship, Mitch. You've got like almost no. cool. Greedy, Mitch. Get oh greedy. My, my shield's fine. So one of the major changes we made uh, recently is uh, the fast recharging shield. Uh, we found that, particularly in this game, we tend to lose health very quickly. Uh, when we didn't have the shield regen very high, players would just die very quickly and it felt unfair, so we kind of took, I guess, a, um, I guess a card from Halo series and the like uh, to recharge the player's shield quickly. I think Halo kind of defined that, like, it gave, I think I read a couple of things, like, the developers commented that it allowed them to create more stable situations because they would know exactly how much the player health would be when they entered an encounter. Yeah, that's right. And I guess you can also look at how much health they have and how much damage they're expected to take to sure that they can survive. Or... Well, I remember lots of games that used to use the health pack model, where if you had basically had a bad run and used to pull your health packs early on, then you would be in a real troubling spot. You basically couldn't get past it. Yeah. I think that was one of the really interesting things that sort of changed the way that a lot of games are very like at the time. Yeah, that's right. And for example, in those games, while well, the player was running by the system that was held for hard life, had extra resources to be able to They're only small though, Mitch. They're gonna come back with their friends. Yeah, well, the friends aren't here right now, and I can't even get it. You got me wave, eight scouts. <laughs> their friends are here. Like, look at my shield, I'm mine. Bring it on. I like it. Go get them all, line them up. Oh yeah, four and one. Star Wars, yeah. 
because you're more like a ram them, yeah. It's more like a big armor. How, how big is this ship? Is this a one person ship or is this like a multi person ship? The idea behind this ship is it's a uh, ex battle cruiser that's been refitted to be a mining vessel. Right. Mm. Yeah, so. Um, hence why there's a lot of military technology because it's already built into the ship and as you go along you're unlocking it. Um, so that's, that's, I guess that's kind of our reasonings. Um, and, uh, if Axel is a character as well, he's kind of a bit of insane because he's spending all the time out in deep space doing the mining missions and he's only friends the uh, AI. So. You've got a solitude and he's too much time with himself. Yes, that's right. <laughs> It does, the design of the, the mining vessel reminds me a lot of the Battle Cruiser from Star Trek. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's exactly what I was doing all the time. <laughs> it actually reminds me of some of the macro levels in StarCraft where you kind of only get one unit and you kind of have to make use of that unit and its special abilities. Oh, yeah. I think there's a, in Heart of the Swarm, the StarCraft 2, there's a, there's a particular level that's very similar, that's very similar to this. And Mario Golf. I used to play a lot of Warcraft 3 matches, um, mm. particularly with power defense, so a lot of the inspiration for this has come from that. Particularly also the uh, hero ones as well, where it's you against a big swarm of enemies, and you have to upgrade oh, yeah. your hero with upgrades and all that. Yeah. And like the whole character portrait thing, I don't know when, they, when they say something. Very yeah. reminiscent of that. Yeah, so this combat system operates off of a uh, amount of resources you collect. Mm -hmm. So as you go through, um, we have a maximum resources per level. Uh -huh. um, so as you go through, it takes your uh, resources you've collected plus whatever's in your cargo and calculates the threat level. Right. And uh, we've got threat levels that go from minimum to maximum. Okay. And then the enemy waves start. So you calculate the percentage of that uh, you're at and then spawns an appropriate amount of waves. So the difficulty is how much Yes, that's right. Nice. So I've got quite a bit here. So. So I've got more. Yeah, you can definitely collect more. Uh, one strategy I like to use is just to go out to the very furthest reaches, mm -hmm. hit every asteroid on the way out, yeah. and then uh, as you go back, it'll automatically pick up for you. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's one thing. Um, after about 10 seconds, it automatically adds it to a collect list. Okay. okay. Picks it up next time you're near it. Okay. I like the uh, plasma. Okay. okay. The, if you uh, press and hold and scroll up. Oh, press and hold. Uh, press and hold. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, press and hold. Oh, right, right, Perfect. got it. There we go, plasma caster. Nice. That's right, it. We'll give that Railgun's also nice in the iron beam, too. Just in your price range. Yep. Do it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's do this. Um, does the appearance of the ship change at all? Um, no, um, I have discussed uh, adding customi customizability. Mm -hmm. um, we're kind of, at the moment, we're developing our monetization strategy for the game. Right, yeah. Um, hence why we've got that nice loot box up there. Was a lot of I, I did notice that. Yeah, it, it's, that's, that's sweet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's definitely nice. Um, yeah, so I think as part of that, I, I will consider doing a monetization ship. Um, certainly with this type of game, you want to feel like it's yours and you own mm -hmm. it. Because there's only two of us, we have to develop the technology to do that. So um, it's, it's a matter of how much effort do I feel like putting in at this point. Right. Yeah. So it's available on the Android store free currently? Yes, it yep. is. So it's free. So this is an Android store game. Mm -hmm. um, I'll eventually be able to purchase them. Nice. So, so. What do you get? Yeah, what do you get, Luke? Uh, so in the loot boxes, we've got a bunch of passive upgrades for each of the different systems so to make ship faster, the fruit, like So I guess it's kind of a win, which is a bit uh, I'm not sure. A bit contentious mm. there. Yeah, a little bit contentious. But um, as I said, if they want to spend money, I'm not going to them. Yeah, the yeah, pleasure. Definitely. I guess. Uh, is there going to be the leaderboards or something like that? Is that how it's going to be? No, this is going to be 17 missions. Yeah. Uh, so it's all a we're kind of very traditional gamers, so um, <laughs> not really into the whole endless runner type yeah. uh, game. Uh, but it's definitely a mode we could add. Um, again, it's up to development time, and we need to actually go through and make it. So it's nice to say, but I, I know I know the pain of having to actually implement that. With the with the loot boxes, though, are they going to be on on use? Like, is it going to be you spend it for one level to get it, or is it going to be something that's going to be carried across everything? 
Yeah, it's a permanent passive upgrade. Um, you also earn them through normal gameplay as well. I actually thought that it's quite good uh, in terms of like having an ad support the game. Having the ads pop up while you're back on the mothership yes. kind of makes sense. Like it actually, from an game kind of perspective, it does kind of make sense. Like, hey, you're waiting for the ship to refuel. Why don't you check the internet for a while while there's <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. For, for an in-game law. So is there a way that you could kind of integrate that more into the actual game itself? Um, I definitely have plans in the story for that. Um, for example, Axe will complain about the ads that pop up when he goes and docks his ship. <laughs> and uh, Ceres is going to say, well, you're outside of the licensing server range, so we've gone back to a free-to-pay one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, back that head on. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I think that's one of the Running low on shields, oh, Mitch. Buddy. Nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It, it recharges. Yeah, it's fine. There's, there's a halo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> One of the other things I've seen. Buddy. Nah, I'm sort of a mineralist. Yeah, that's Automatically. Right. Uh, which is really handy because you often see the little orange markers on the map and you think, oh man, I like the race all the way back. But you get near enough, yep, you're definitely. getting dragged into you. Yeah, that's definitely one of the little, uh, implementations that I added to the game, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, resources are quite similar, so they're quite tricky, particularly on phone to pick up. Uh, so after 10 seconds, I get added to a list. Nice. Uh -huh. Totally worth it. Sorry, there's, so hole. there's turrets on your ship do attack? Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah so um, the Drag idea... Drag people into your yeah. net. It's not necessarily safe though, and uh, I guess you'll see this later as well, because yeah. um, these enemies fire immediately as soon as they get sighted. There's no kind of cooldown. Oh. Um, yeah. So if you're sitting on the pad and you you think you're safe and you see... A, yeah. You're not you safe. Get, no, you're not safe. You get destroyed. Yeah, yeah cool. Cannot afford. Okay, no. Oh, I want rocket launches. <laughs> you cannot right. afford. <laughs> You'll get them shortly. <laughs> I'll get them. All right, hang on. So we need to just take out this next guy. In another hole. Ah. Yeah. The idea behind the mothership Dodge. as well. Ah. No. I broke it. Okay. No. I didn't break it. Fine. Yeah. Um. The mothership also gives the player a break as well. Because as you can see, it's quite a lot of movement. Hmm. Come here. That seems like a dangerous maneuver. No, it's fine. It's fine. Ah, see? Hey. It worked. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so kind of Captain UB, Johnny. So that's just one of the fighter models <laughs> that we've kind of blown up in Call of Boss. So, uh -huh. yep. I presume that this is some sort of quantum entanglement sort of system you've got there, because that item that came out of that ship was a lot <laughs> bigger than that ship. <laughs> well, they, they appear from nowhere. They're, they're kind of uh, they're stored in a quantum state. Yeah. Um, I guess the idea behind this is that this is a um, long dog galaxy. They are really run rampant over the entire galaxy that they're in, um, and they're literally everywhere. So, the, the only thing that they're interested in at the moment is protecting their resources. Trouble, Mitch. Oh, fine. That was close. You do have about one third less, of a, one third of the amount of hull uh, you do for your shield. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so you get a little bit of grace period there. It's like the, uh, the E on your uh, fuel gauge. Yeah. yeah, a little yeah. bit more. That's come on, but yeah. yeah. E means, eh, there's a little bit left. You can still make it to the petrol station. Just push it for another 10. Yeah. You've actually finished the level now. So I have I? Can, yeah, definitely. Okay, nice. So this next level we actually developed for the Perth Games Festival. Okay. Uh, nice. As I was mentioning to Gianni before, we had a 5 to 10 minute playtime limit. Uh, so I designed the level with that in mind, so... um. <laughs> Alright, no worries. We'll see, if, we'll see if we can meet the 5 to 10 minute. All right, tab available set to begin. Nice. Dense green nebula. Nice. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, I so then you close that and I uh, hit launch and it will take you there. Cool. Oh, I like this. All right. Look at all this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Pixel Sim viewers. Special <laughs> level. Nice. Oh, we like oh, custom stuff. Let's go back on the thing. We like custom stuff. 
Yeah, so I've added a nice little cache of uh, resources there so we can okay. go through and hey. check out the Load upgrade system. Load it up, Mitch! Nice, okay. That's fantastic. All right, this thing is... I actually do like the model. I think actually that might be broken. That's alright, try, oh, try no. click where the button is. No, it's, it's literally not there. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no. Alright, what's it gonna be real That's okay. Sure. That's okay. No, don't worry about it. Do you have any weapons in the alpha moment? Absolutely! Alpha. Well, yeah. Actually, no, you can't even move to the next level. Well, look, yeah, it is in alpha, so obviously yeah, you're going to be Yeah, these things are too expected. It's um, great. Well, Mitch, you're going to be cacked. This is going to be fine. No, it isn't. Like, I'm like, healthy lost in like one go. It's fine. I'm like, like a big guy. Like, we're going to shatter that. That's You're going to kill me after that. Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's fine. fine. They're all in chase, bro. There's a swarm of them. Five minutes, right? Five minutes. Five minutes You're not gonna make it to five minutes. You're gonna I'm make it to one absolutely minute. gonna make it to five minutes. Watch this. Chop, chop. Where are they? Right, Maybe when you. Oh, you're dead. Oh no! No! <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm alive still. That's fine. I got out of it. Get out of that. No. I'm Remind me not to get I'm you to put you fine. in charge of my spaceship, bitch, because you've got some pretty risky. Very reckless. Risky behaviors. Dude, the first prompt in the game is ramming ships. Damn it. It also uh, kills you as well. <laughs> You don't need to drop a freezer, you've got like two minutes. Well, what are we fighting for? Oh, yeah, and your face is just taking them all out. Alright. So, can your mothership be destroyed by the waves, or are you always going to have a safe place? To yeah, go? yeah, you're always going to have a safe place, um, except for a couple of missions where you have to escort the mothership from an area. Um, but once you die, basically, you start back at the beginning and uh, go through. That's fine. Five light uh, corvettes and 22 scouts. You keep saying that, but I, I, know. No, it's I good. do not think that means what you think it means. Look, <laughs> look how many of them I've destroyed. How many of me have they destroyed? Zero. All I need to destroy is one. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh oh. <laughs> Nope! So you get shot and you get ram damage at the same yeah. time. So it's just like, flip. You know what? Shield's I think, gone. Uh, <clears throat> I think maybe that shield regen needs to be so Way too arrogant. You should be it's, dying it's, for it. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this, this game kind of encourages the Bardo. Um, yeah. It also punishes you severely for it. Um, if you watch the individual ships, as soon as you get close, they lock yeah. onto you and fire. So um, mm -hmm. just being in the middle of them is going to shred you. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm kind of just picking off the ones on the outside and like just. You gotta be blasting through. You just need to go through that big chunk of them. Why didn't you just blast on through? I think Scott determined that yes, it is actually taking off a lot of shields when I do hit them. Yeah, the but you know, too fast die up. No! Oh, I miscalculated the boost. Oh! Yeah, so we wanted to feel like we wanted the player to feel like they're actually in the ship. Ram for everything. Mm. Uh, what if you go into that? I was about to say, what happens when you hit the boundary? The red state. Have a look. Push the limits, Mitch. Push the limits. Around All the... evening. Oh, you oh said... okay. <laughs> That's still a little bit far. Um, Keep going. Hit it. Portion exceeding comms yep. range. Nice okay. little flash there as well. Right. Yeah. Oh, you won't, because they're in space <laughs> around you. Oh, I think it's a... no, it's not. Ah. It's fine. I don't think it's gonna die. Yeah, so if you want, turns out I'm a spaceship pest. Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. That was a misclick. Oh, this couple is taking home. Yeah, so if you... two light Corvettes. All right, yeah, you're not done with the last one, so bro. If you mind about another fifty thousand resources, there'll be a other harder ship. Well, awesome. Yeah. 
Do I get resources for destroying the ships, or is it just vanity? We do occasionally give you scrap. Um, okay. This is a little bonus to our destroying. And is the ship actually suffering damage? Like visual damage? Like yeah, so it should see we've got sparks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, once you get a little bit lower, they'll smoke as well. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, an oxygen it's a thing. It's venting into space. The no, physics no. aren't exactly 100% uh, correct in this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do like that, like, the... Well, it wasn't in gravity either, and that was still... Yeah. Yeah, because um, there's, like, there's friction as well in the ship. The ship slows down more than that before you. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, Things like you can also drift around as well, which would be possible in a spaceship. Well, I do like how when you change direction, the ship kind of bends in those directions. But a lot of spaceship games can do that. Yeah. Just ignore that. Like, come on. That. Yeah. So there are spark effects during the ship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's definitely been very important for us to. Um, we call it juice. Um, game juice. Um, it's kind of making things do things yeah. when you go over them. It's that kind of interactive interactivity level that you want to see things happen when you do something. It's basically. Yeah, yeah you, want to, you want you want effects for your. For yeah. the There's an excellent YouTube video called The Art of Game Juice. Where you go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's just a dev thing or. Um, it's, it's great. Yeah, it, it does sound a bit awkward though when you call it that. Gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Own it. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah, so it, it's unfortunate you can't go through the upgrade system at oh, the moment. Right. Um, that's a little bit of a hurry to get this piece, so. Well, if, if you want to see the upgrade of Wheel, get the game. Definitely. Just, yeah, get your hands on it. Yeah. Definitely, you can search on the Android Play Store as well for Silas. Mm -hmm. um, even though it's unreleased, we're still here on there. I'll tell you, we are on the American side. I actually made the joke in the show earlier than this, but you can't be accessed by Australian people if you make it on the other place. How garbage is that, Johnny? Uh, to be fair, though, we couldn't actually submit the thing um, until I was in America. So I just kind of circumvent <laughs> the rules. On the show, so. You went to America to submit things. That's the whole reason I went to America, was just to go submit things. <laughs> I can understand if you have like a TV shield. Mm -hmm. okay. Very strange. Another detail I like is the machine gun shells coming off the machine gun when it, when it fires. I think. Yes, um, unfortunately I can't show you the rest of the weapons, but um, <laughs> yeah. each of the weapons has that kind of uh, effect as well. The missiles when they pop out, for example, uh, they kind of Float freely in the air, lock uh -huh. onto the target, and then emit the That's trail, awesome. Trail, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Alright. So, is this at the resolution that it would be at on a phone? Like, yeah. Or um, is it slightly better because it's in the. Computer? It's a uh, uh, Oh, yeah, but like, as in, like, is this where, where you would like to be graphically? Uh, definitely, this is probably exactly like a phone. I don't awesome. know, um, there isn't a graphic setting to launch the game, so I'm not sure what it's picked. It's fast. fast. No, no, prettiest, I think. Uh, fantastic, yeah. So, um, this does have anti aliasing um, however, in most cases, it's turned off shadow, so this is actually how the game looks. Playing it. Oh, no. No. Okay. Yeah, I think we managed to get away with a lot just because it's so sparse. For example, most of the time, Staring at one of my graduates. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we've been able to put a lot of skin in ships. Um, for example, let's have a uh, game show. Mm -hmm. We have 300 enemies. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, it's very once. Um, I like how you can just boost in any direction. That's really awesome. Yeah, I, I thought that was important. Uh, just kind of get that movement just right. Yeah, there's other examples uh, of boosting, for oh. example, if you've got an iron cannon uh, firing at you, you can actually boost mm. into them and knock them out of the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So does, does the ship's performance decrease? I'm, I'm not noticing it. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. You'll just have our list. Yeah. 
that's kind of good. Getting great ability will oh, help. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, there we go. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Let's see. When you respawn, whether the, um, the hammer is though. Yeah. <laughs> if not, well, that's probably actually, right there. That's been a. Yeah, that's. that's no. I think there's something. Wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry we didn't get to experience that part yeah. of it. Sorry about that. But you can experience that part of it in yep. the alpha that's well. Yes, right, absolutely. Right? And we're playing it a slightly Look, if non standard specification. Yes, that's right. If we show them everything, they won't get the game. Exactly. That's right. No spoilers I mean, that, here. That's just play it for yourself. Yeah. Um, and you can do that by going to playstarlost.com. Uh, download the alpha for Android devices right now. Uh, Ken, thanks for joining us. It's yes. been really good fun. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you.